In this piano tutorial, I want to share a progression that comes from a song by Bar Orr titled Gotta Keep It Pushing, and this song is in the key of F sharp. But the reason why I like this progression is because it sort of serves as an exercise for hand independence, right? Our left hand will be playing different voicings. Um, majority of them are actually dropped to voicings, so that's very helpful into making sure that our playing sounds very full but the right hand is not simply playing chords it's also playing very melodically within the chords that it plays okay and the progression sounds something like this in f sharp i'll also demonstrate it in every other key um but let's start off in f sharp It's not a difficult progression in that the chords are very simple to learn. The only thing that's maybe a little bit difficult for us beginners is um, just getting used to the hand independence, right? So we start off on the two chord and we're using this melody right here. Where we play the five, like if we're talking in terms of the two, we're playing the fifth, the first, the second, and the minor third, okay? And this is a very common melodic movement when we're playing minor chords, right? Now, our left hand, I consider very important. We'll be playing a drop two voicing of this A flat minor, right? We're taking the second highest note, bring it down an octave. That's our first chord. Second chord is going to be a four chord, but something very um, important is the voicing that we're actually going to use, right? We're going to play this B major 9. Now, this B major 9 ba may seem a little bit difficult, right, at first glance, but in reality, it's just a combination of an F sharp major and a B flat major, okay? So, and in reality, you don't really have to play the whole B major. You can actually just play the first and the fifth. And then we just play this F sharp up here. So, third chord is going to be a B major, but in drop two voicing again, right? Our left hand is playing a B major. We take that E flat, bring it down an octave to play it like this. And our right hand is simply going to play a B major add two. So, actually, we can even play it just with these outer outer notes right We're just playing the c sharp and the f okay and that gives us that b major add two over e flat second or fourth chord it's going to be a seven again drop to voicing right in this case um a small tip if your left hand does not reach you can always use your right hand to play that extra chord Right, this is a C sharp and drop two voicing, and we're just completing completing it with our right hand, and we're adding that second over here just for extra color. So, okay. Then second half of that progression goes from the three to the four. Right, we're playing this three chord right here, which is an F sharp major over B flat. Again, we're including those drop two voicings, right? You can see it right here. This is simply an F sharp major, add two, and we're taking the second highest note, bringing it down an octave. And this is one of my favorite melodies within um, this progression, right? Where we play the two, the three, and the five of that one chord, right? And then we repeat the same sort of melody, same sort of pattern for the four, and we play it up here, right? We're playing a B major in our left hand, and our right hand is going to play this melody where we play the two, the three, and the four of that four chord while holding on to this five chord, all right? So all together from the beginning, Right? 
And the second half of the progression is very similar. Only thing that changes is the melody at the end. Right, very similar. And then here it changes into a one, going to the four and the melody goes something like this. Right, we play that one or a three. So, and then we land on that four chord by using that same pattern of the two, the three, and the five, right? That's a, sort of a common theme within this song, right? All right. So now that we understand this in the key of F sharp major, let's try doing it in every other key. That way you have a better understanding of how to play it and sort of incorporate it into your daily playing. Quick reminder, I have a piano course available in the description. It's the first link in the description of this video. There I teach 11 gospel jazz progressions that you can learn and apply to, to what you're learning and playing. Okay, so let's move on into G major. And then we'll get through every chord, right? And here it would be something like this. Right? If it's too fast, you can always slow down the video using the features on YouTube and be able to learn it on your own time. So let's keep going. A flat. And something you're going to notice is that some keys are sometimes difficult because of the different distribution of the notes within the scale, right? So this is starting from the two. Let's go into B flat. Sharp major. Major, sorry, E major. key F major then we're back on that F sharp 